we are going to reveal to you the six most important things you should have in your terms and conditions. And if you haven't got terms and conditions, you better get some terms and conditions because right now anyone's out here to sue you. For real. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Rose. I am head decorator here at Carlid's Cakes and 50% owner of the business. Uh, I oversee all cakes that leave the door, make sure that they're looking pristine, 10 out of 10, you know how it goes, and make sure everything's, you know, top tier before it leaves the premises, inshallah. Hey guys, I'm Khalid, business owner, 50%. I do all the baking. No one does any baking in here. I do all the baking. I oversee all the quality, all the tasting, all the checking of every cake that leaves my station before it goes to Rose's station mm -hmm. and the workers' station. We have been in this cake game for over 10 years. So we have over 10 years experience in building up a business literally from nothing to where it is today. We're, you know, alhamdulillah, a successful business by the grace of Allah. Um, so, yeah, we hope you enjoy this journey with us, this new little business series. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments below. This video is going to cover the most important things that we believe that you should be covering in your terms and conditions. This can apply to any business, but we're going to apply it right now to our business, which is a cake company producing bespoke cakes nationwide. Number one, the most important thing, you need to outline what your deposit is to book in your cake. So this needs to be big enough to cover any costs that you're gonna you purchase on the cake. And it also needs to be big enough so that if there's a cancellation and you've reserved that slot for that person, you're not gonna lose out on too much money. Things to consider. You also need to outline when the remaining balance is due. So are you gonna be taking cash on collection or are you gonna be asking them to pay one to two weeks in advance? The problem with taking money on collection is if you've got two wedding cakes, three wedding cakes, two deliveries, three deliveries, and someone's messing about, and I want to check, check, I want to check the cake, I want to this, I want that. Oh, I thought it was going to be a bit taller. This colour isn't correct, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now you used to are both arguing about paying your money. This is a waste of time. Here at Carly's Cakes, your full balance is paid before your cake's even made. Simple as that or the cake isn't made. Simple as that. You know, we've learned from our mistakes in the past. We used to take cash on collection. We would have brides having us sit in waiting at the wedding venue for half an hour for her to arrive and pay before we could even move to the next setup. And she wants to take pictures and do an entrance, etc., etc., before I can come and talk about my money, which you owe me. Oh, right there. I just want to go and have a look at the cake first. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. I was meant to be somewhere else on the other side of Birmingham half an hour ago. As June's always says, time is money. All right, so then. get that in order and make sure it's laid out and they're aware of all this before paying their deposit. Number two, you need to make sure whatever you're hiring out to your customers, you're taking a refundable deposit on. So cake stands, cake knives, whatever you're hiring out, you make sure that you're charging them a refundable deposit of what the stand is worth, taking in consideration having to make a whole new stand or purchase a whole new stand and get it delivered in time for the next person that's hiring out if it gets lost. Also, if it gets broken, you need to make mention, if this is broken, damaged in any other way than how I give it you, this incurs either partial or complete loss of deposit. Also, if you have to clean the, the stand or your floor will stand, etc., you need to make them aware that this is your time, this is your effort, this is your energy, this is your water, this is your soap. I'm going to charge you for everything. So you make sure you let them know in your terms and conditions that there are charges applicable and make sure they all read the terms and conditions. They don't. <laughs> they don't all read them. Honestly, you could even say to somebody, 
Click the link and make sure you read it because the stand terms apply to you and they still are going to ask you what is the refundable deposit. Oh, I didn't know that I had to pay this. I didn't know I had to do that. Did you read the term of the conditions? Um, no. No. <laughs> What's the point? What is the point? No, we're meant to be making them frigging put this in their terms and conditions and now we're putting them off. <laughs> no. Still put it in there because then you're covered. When they come to you and say, oh, I lost half of the stand, but I should get my money back. You're covered. You've covered everything. And I'm going to take you to small claims court. And I'm so irritated and this is so disgusting that you're not going to give me my money back, even though I've lost your things or I've broken and damaged your things. I still want my money back and I'm going to take you to court for doing so. Okay, take me to court. Yeah. I'm insured and I'm prepared for this battle. So let's go. I'll see you there. And it's all covered in the terms and conditions. So put it in there. Number three. We all know how people love to change their mind, make changes, sizes, colours and all sorts. Make a stipulation of how many days before you are willing to accept changes. So we ask for at least seven days notice. Because from, that, from when that seven days comes, we have then started the preparation. We have started cutting toppers. We have started prepping ingredients to make your cake. So after that seven days, no changes. Number four, liability. We accept absolutely no liability once the cake has left our hands of any damages that you make to your cake. We take verbal confirmation that you're happy with the cake and we also give instructions on how to travel with the cake. And before all of this, we advise delivery on cakes, especially tiered cakes. Because you think you're saving money by coming to collect a tiered cake and you don't, you don't even know how to handle it and, and you're going to mash it up. So there's a time where it happens regularly. Hold the cake from the bottom and keep it flat. Yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. No, no, <laughs> or hold, hold it from the bottom and keep it flat. No problem, but I've got it, I've got it. Okay, no problem, you have it. Got to the car. The cake wasn't stable. It didn't have a central dowel in it. it there's, there's how many dowels in it? Oh, it was this, it was that. I told you how to take the cake. You said to me you was happy with the cake and that you had control over the cake. For once it's passed my hands and you gave me the thumbs up, <coughs> it's got nothing to do with me after that. And it's like you tell them, put it in the footwell, put it in a flat place. Don't put it on the car seat, but they're what? Strapping it in on the car seat. Like a baby. Like the car seat's flat. It literally leans back. So, no liability once it's left our hands and you've accepted it and accepted delivery instructions. Number five, you need to outline what procedures you are going to take if somebody decides they want to cancel a cake. Unfortunately, things do happen, deaths, marriages break down and things like that. So there will become times where people cancel. So you need to outline clearly what is going to happen if a person cancels their cake. For us, it's automatically loss of deposit, no matter the reason. You've got to consider that you have, as soon as that person's placed the order for a cake, you've spent money on already, you know, buying stuff for their cake. And secondly, you've stopped anyone else booking that slot. So realistically, you've turned people away and lost money. There are things that you could potentially put in place, like, for example, um, change of date, if you have the availability. Um, we did a lot of that in COVID. We arranged change of dates um, because, obviously, you know, nobody can help a pandemic. Also, you need to remember changing of date can be very problematic because if they want to change the date to a day where you are fully booked... Yeah. They're going to say, but you said I can change the date. Yes. So therefore now you are liable to fulfill their request. Hence why, in our terms and conditions, for once you have cancelled the cake, the cake is cancelled. It is down to us if we are able to fit you in. We will try to help you, but we, we are not obliged to help you. Simple as that. It just all needs to be made very clear before they pay a deposit. 
So that's why this is one of the musts that you must include in your terms and conditions. And whatever terms you decide to do for cancellations, that's between you and your customer, customer but make sure it's outlined. It may seem harsh, but business is business, and we have to be fair across the board, regardless of what your name is, where you come from, and our relationship between each other. We have to be fair across the board. So it may sound a bit harsh, but unfortunately, that's how it goes. But we will always try and help out. Okay, the final one, and this is probably the most important one, especially if you are a fully-fledged registered business, which you should be if you're watching this. You need to outline in your terms and conditions that any person making a booking, if there's an allergen in the family or they have an allergy, then it must be made aware before making the booking. This is very, very important when it comes to your food inspections. And it's very, very important even just for the, mor the morale. Like you want to know that this person, if this person's got an allergy to wheat, for example, that you're not mixing their cakes with other cakes that have got wheat in it. This is life or death. This is very important. Click our uh, how to get a five star hygiene rating. Yeah. And this will be all explained in, all explained in great detail of how to get your hygiene rating, especially allergens, because this is definitely one of the most important things, mm. allergens. Make sure that your client, your customer, tells you, and in not allergies, gluten, rice, whatever it may be, any form of allergies. Okay, guys, to summarize, terms and conditions are extremely important to any business. It helps the customer know where they stand when they're making a booking with you, and it also backs you up for anything that might occur. It might seem extreme, but it's things that you must cover to be safe for you and your customer. And that is a very important point. If someone wants to call the food, <clears throat> the food police on you, they want to take you to small claims court, whatever it may be, you can say, look, it's all in the paperwork. It's all in the paperwork. It's a treacherous place out here, especially when it comes to money. I want my money back. You're going to give me my money back. Look, everything you needed to follow was in the terms and conditions. I haven't broken any rules. I'm not being unfair to you. So therefore, be respectful to me and be fair to me. It's simple as that. I'm nice, you're nice, you're nice, I'm nice. So it's, it's basically like a contract that you're putting in place before that people pay their deposit. And also a good tip is when people pay their deposit, when you send the bank details, mention that once you've paid this deposit, we would, ex we would assume that you've read the terms and conditions because that's very important that they read and they accept before paying their deposit. And we hope this, guy, this video helped you out, guys. If there's anything you think we were too much on, put it down below. And if there's anything that you think was more important we could add, let us know. We'd love to learn and we'd love to hear what you guys think.